Well, it's been such a heavy weekend for everyone again here in Oklahoma. So many families and friends lost. And yes, like you said, now colleagues, three men who were all about the science. If anyone understood and respected the power of nature, it was Tim Samaras, his son Paul, and their colleague Carl Young. They were tracking the powerful EF3 tornado in El Reno Friday night, the area getting hammered by 165 mile per hour winds. Many of the storm chasers barely outrunning the twister. But Tim and his team did not survive. Tim was found seat belted in his car. The others apparently pulled from the car by the tornado. There's something that doesn't make sense because he knew exactly what he was doing and he's always been controlled and safe. Tim Samaras was a pioneer, a world record holding researcher. Right now, For me to be out there and witness the witness mother nature in that, in, in, in that state is just absolutely fantastic. When I studied meteorology, we studied Tim's work. He became a colleague and a friend, a family man who always made sure to kiss his wife goodbye. See you later. At times, I have mixed feelings about chasing these storms. On one hand, they are incredibly beautiful. On the other hand, these powerful storms can create devastating damage that change people's lives forever. Inspired as a child by the Wizard of Oz, he spent his adult years developing probes. Snail deployed. Ultimately, his goal was actually saving lives through the technology that he's been able to develop. So this is it. Tim shared that sense of awe with me last summer on a three-day trip studying his other love, lightning. I don't know how many storms I've seen in my lifetime, but every single one of them, I still get pretty excited. The little boy in me just wants to come out here and just watch and stare. I have to tell you that Tim Samaras was one of the most brilliant men I've ever met, uh, an engineer and a scientist. He was no risk, no thrills. He always wanted everyone to be safe and was concerned for everyone else's safety. And I think that's what all storm chasers will take from this, to be extra safe, to go that way and to move on. Our thoughts and prayers are with all of their families.